Saturday the 6th of December 2008, 7.45am, we're at Embankment Station and here's the coach and people have already got on board and are taking their places waiting to leave. Welcome to the RSPB Central London Local Group's trip to Mintsmere. For those who've not been to Mintsmere before, it's an excellent reserve with a, a variety of habitats. Hi Andrew. Hi. Have you been to Mintsmere before? I have uh, quite a lot of times, yeah. And uh, what kind of birds are you hoping to see today? Um, bittern, marsh harrier, maybe bearded tit. Um, some red-throated divers on the sea, hopefully. Uh, some waders like golden plover, maybe stone chat. It's, uh, it's a lovely place. There's such a mixture of habitats. Uh, we've got woodland, sea, marsh, heath. Um, yeah, it's just there's always good birds there. Whatever time of year you go. So, Excellent. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I'll catch up with you later. Lovely. <laughs> As you can see, we've just got off the coach. People are getting their equipment ready. We're outside the bittern hide. We can hear siskins in the top of this tree. We're now about to go into the bittern hide. There's uh, not many hides that are this tall. We're looking at a kingfisher. This is the view from the bittern hide. Just had excellent views of the kingfisher and marsh harrier earlier. We've seen some really good birds at these trees. We've had bullfinch, tree creeper, really good views of goldcrest, jay, plus mixed lots of finches and tits in the trees, and a close robin as well. And jackdaw's calling now. About to enter. Island Mere Hyde. I think we're going to have our lunch in here. This is a view from inside Island Mere Hyde. We didn't see too much at the Island Mere Hyde, so we're moving on now. We're going to walk down to the west and south of Hyde and then down to the sea. It was pretty quiet in the Island Mere Hyde, but somebody before us had seen an otter, but sadly we dipped on that. This is a view from the West Hyde. We saw some excellent birds in the West Hyde. Lots of ducks, teal, widgeon, gadwall, shoveler, shell duck, and some mallard. We had snipe and excellent views of a water pipit. <laughs> This is a sluice gate area. I just had a female stone chat, a pied wagtail, and uh, various finches. the different types of habitat there are here at Minsmere. I've got the sea behind me to my right and then I've got a large area of woodland at the back and in between the scrape with the reed beds. And that's why it's such a good place to come. You get the seabirds, you get the, the ducks, the geese, the waders and then you've got all the passerines that 
about the woodland area. This is the view from the East Hyde. We managed to get a pintail and mostly the same ducks as before. This is the north wall. We're making our way back to the visitor centre. And these reed beds are a good place to look. The bearded tit. Made it back to the visitor centre. Now let's go inside and check out the shop and the tea room. Let's have fat balls and bird cake mix. Big sacks of sunflower mix. We sell clothing keep you warm and dry, so DVDs and I sell a wide selection of books <coughs> they sell binoculars and telescopes we must pay a visit to the famous Minsmere tea room in search of some delicious food and drink <laughs> Hi Tony. Hi Debbie. Have you had a good day? Yeah, really good day. Yeah, I think for me, um, coming to Minsmere is about all sorts of experiences. You see all the birds that you think you're going to see. You know the standard things like all the different tits and um, different types of ducks and things like that. And also you have these little moments where. Um, we all see a bittern together or something like that. It's just really lovely. Excellent. And the other nice little thing today was that just some of us that didn't see uh, a tree creeper and just Debbie, when we were all sitting having tea, we just saw one. So that was really nice. Excellent. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Debbie. You had a good day? I had a very good day, yes, thank you. What were the highlights for I you? I think the highlights were seeing three marsh harriers all at once. Excellent. I managed to spot a siskin in among a whole lot of goldfinches. Cool. And the ducks were hundreds of ducks of every sort you could imagine. Yeah. And grey legs and lapwings and things on the on the scrape. Did you get them in good light? Very good light. Excellent light. Especially when you could get the light behind you. It was, was simply wonderful. Yeah. But other times the sun did get in our eyes a little bit yeah. because it was so low. But no, it was a, it was a very good day and beautiful weather. Excellent. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, I did. Hi Andrew. Hi. You had a good day? Very good, thank you. Yes, yes. Um, I think the highlight of the day probably was we went to the Bitten Hyde, which is um, a hide about 50 foot above the ground that gives you a lovely view of uh, tons of reed beds and, you know, the light and the weather and that, that was wonderful. You could see for miles and we saw so many things. We had lovely views of marsh areas flying about in front of us, two views of bitterns flying uh, in front of us. 10 minutes watching a kingfisher perching on sticks and uh, catching fish in front of us and you could actually look at it properly and, and hear it calling and everything, it was superb, it was worth about 20 normal views of a kingfisher. Um, it's probably broadly it but it's just a lovely 40 minutes of bird watching you know and everyone seeing everything so superb yeah. Excellent, okay. well, it's 4 o'clock now, time to go home, nearly dark. Everyone's back on the bus. I think we'd all agree we had an excellent day out. Good weather, good light, saw lots of good birds. <laughs>